Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be talking about some massive news from Atoll and we will watch some massive clips that will confirm why XDC is the chosen one. So I hope you will watch to the end. We shall continue right after this intro. Looking at coin market cap, currently yes the market has had some uptrend, slow movement in the upward direction and yes we hear that the German government has now stopped selling their Bitcoin. They do have some more left and the sell off I believe it's not over yet. I don't think it's the time for utility to take off yet. That's why we see a lot of cryptos ranging at the moment but one thing we know for sure that our time will come utility will rise past all the bs that we see on the coin market cap today so all you have to do is hang on tight because everything is pre-planned looking at some massive news for the crypto markets overall china is likely to unban bitcoin in quarter four of this year which is pretty massive if you ask me because China has banned and unbanned crypto for many many years now and I think eventually they will unban crypto because they know and we know already that crypto is the future it's here to stay China is a massive market it leads in a lot of the industries today I think we need China to get that mass adoption of crypto as well some more positive news for crypto as Putin's big decision on Bitcoin. Russia's central bank told businesses they should use cryptocurrencies and other digital assets to facilitate payments with foreign partners to counter Western sanctions imposed over the Ukraine conflict. Like I always say, you must have heard it all over the internet that everything has been pre-planned. All these conflicts between Ukraine and so many other countries involved in war right now they are all pre-planned they lead to the solution they want and all these problems that people are having right now is to bring in blockchain blockchain is going to solve a lot of the problems these countries have today and I have zero doubts that crypto is going to be used to facilitate payments and trade and just before we continue I have a second channel called crypto utility the link is at the top of the video right now. Please hit that subscribe button because I only cover utility. Tomorrow we are going to be talking about XRP. It's going to be a huge video so don't miss out. Looking at the XDC chart currently just above 3 cents. So once again XDC is ranging like every other coin. Like I said many times before we are still coupled with Bitcoin. Everything follows the Bitcoin pattern. But once we get away from Bitcoin, once the decoupling happens, guys, the price explosion on utility is going to be unreal. And all the big boys that are holding Bitcoin right now, I believe they are going to have a massive sell off because that's when they're going to shift from the useless coins into utility like XDC and so many others that we cover on this channel and the other channel. So, guys, just be prepared because a big, massive inflow of liquidity it's going to be hitting XDC pretty soon. So before we move on to the good stuff, looking at a tweet from Michael Crypto, XDC network security breach. So 56 days ago, we had a malicious smart contract that was deployed on the network, leading to a significant security breach. The deployed smart contract was intended for token burning. And it's crucial to note that many other projects are currently at risk. This includes SRX, FXD, Prime, PLI, BTX, so for now guys the situation has been contained the swap functionality has been disabled on the ecosystem until the issue has been resolved so i will be keeping a close eye on this guys but just be careful out there a lot of stuff is going wrong ideally you want your keys in your own hands not your keys not your crypto keep most of it offline guys a lot of these fraudsters and scammers are going to be coming out the woodworks as crypto starts to rise because utility hasn't even risen yet i would highly recommend the decent wallet a video is going to be following shortly watch that video for decent and click the link in the video at the top once you watch that video buy yourself a decent wallet for a discount by using my links no better wallet than the decent biometric wallet 
It offers native support for over 3,000 coins and tokens across 59 blockchain networks. And the best thing is, it's very secure. It has an encrypted storage, certified secure chip, biometric sensor, and firmware authenticity. So currently guys, using my referral link, you can get your hands on a two-pack biometric wallet for only $189. The usual price is $318. You are getting a whopping $129 off. And if you want to buy the one-pack biometric wallet, guys, it's only $109. The normal price is $159, so you are getting a whopping $50 off. So use these offers, guys, while they still exist. I'm going to leave a link at the top of the video and in the description right at the top. Looking at a tweet from Darren Lewis Jr. Coda, different blockchain platforms are working together to make standards cross-platform interoperability. How many times have we heard this on my channel? Interoperability is a must. Many of the good blockchains that we cover all the time, XRP, XLM, XDC, just to mention a few, to be interoperable. So they can easily shift value, trade, data, whatever it might be, between networks easily and seamlessly. So just say, for example, the USA adopts XRP and Singapore adopts XDC. They need to be interoperable so they can easily move between the two networks. And this is what's happening right now. We're going to watch this very short clip just to understand how important interoperability is. And we already know that XDC is the most interoperable network in the world right now. Different blockchain platforms are working together to make sure that there's standards that make sense so that when cross-platform interoperability becomes something that we can have, that it works. It will work seamlessly. It'll be much simpler. Okay. <laughs> So at the end, I don't know what the chuckle was about. I mean, we know this is real. They mean it. Interoperability is happening right now. The networks have been working for many years to make sure they all can work together because one network, guys, just remember, is not going to rule everything. XTC is not going to rule everything of value in the whole world. XRP, XLM and a handful of others are going to be sharing this value. They are going to bring more and more things to the table together. They're going to be unbeatable, right? This is why Bitcoin, Ethereum, are definitely not the one because they don't actually have anything that the big boys want for the long-term success of the future of finance so guys you know what to do diamond hands looking at a tweet from tokenizer inigio has grown exponentially since the last time we took a look into them so we're not going to be going through the whole thing here guys but i'm just going to pick out some key points that you should take on board this part really surprised me because it keeps on confirming what I believe in. Believe it or not, this solution was submitted for patent approval in as early as 2013, 2014. That was around the time Bitcoin was created, right? So do you see what I've been saying right now? Yes, they have been working on these solutions for over a decade. Even before XDC existed, they knew what was coming. XDC was pre-chosen to exist in a future right it's already pre-planned guys right xdc is where it needs to be because they need it there and as we see here nidia's patents are all over the world some of the biggest economies in the world usa india china europe and some of the names that have been cited on their patents google nasdaq paypal canon red hat dropbox some of the biggest names in the world some of the biggest industries in the world are already involved with making documentation digitally recognizable right we've already had many successful transactions on xdc already mletr is a success which has proven to the rest of the world that yes it works it's much quicker it saves you a lot of time a lot of money so now what's happening is we're getting a domino effect more and more countries are joining the mletr ecosystem it's only a matter of time guys it's not if it's gonna happen it's when it's gonna happen and this year i believe that a lot of regulations are coming in for crypto as well as more adoption for MADTR cross-border value movement with cryptocurrencies. So just be prepared, guys, because XDC is leading the shift to digitalization. Looking at tweet from Cyprus, pivotal moment in transforming global trade finance. Keep in mind, XDC network is the leading layer one network in the global trade finance niche. So we have a short clip, guys, which we're going to be watching together. It's very important, guys. ICC is involved, as you can see there, Chris Southward who has been leading the transformation and the UK adopting MLETR. Now it's going to have a global domination effect. It's happening right now, right? Just listen to this and we'll discuss it right after. What's what's happening? Yeah, thank you, uh, Chris and Nick. I'm delighted to be here today because I think we're at a very pivotal moment in the transformation of global trade. 
why do I say that? It's because basically the building blocks are all coming together. So if we think, what do we need to transform trade? You want the legal environment to um, basically get reform, and that's happening. You know, uh, not the U the UK seems to have started a trend. So obviously France, uh, the US, they're all considering legislation. If I can sort of name the countries in the G20, I would say that at least half are actively preparing for passing the model law on electronic transferable records. Um, major regions like the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, same thing. We no longer hear why should we do this, but simply how. And that is such a good trend. So the thing is, it's in the works. So that's legal. We also need standards, right? We all say we need standards. We need clarity. They need to be simple. They need to provide that roadmap to interoperable, interoperable data. So that's enough, guys, as you heard there. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. They are finding ways to make it happen. Chris, the ICC, they led the UK to adopt MLEGR. UK leads the law standards across the world. More than half the G20 nations are already on board. They are finding ways to join in. XDC at the heart of this transformation. The value movement on XDC is going to be explosive, guys. Looking at a tweet from Atoll. The crypto market needs to be rebuilt with strong tokenized real world assets like gold CGO as a backbone. The top of the index asset should not be so volatile as Bitcoin is. I couldn't agree more with that right now. Yes, Bitcoin is not the one. He's clearly saying that to you. Bitcoin is volatile. It's not the one. We should be backed by gold. Officially, I think that's what's happening right now. We are going back to a gold standard in a cryptocurrency kind of way. A lot of the top utility coins that we cover are going to be used as the new future financial system. And there is no doubt that Bitcoin is not the one. When you look at what it can do against some of the top networks like XDC, then yes, clearly XDC stands out. In the very near future, I think utility is going to lead the markets. Bitcoin, if it still exists, it won't be at the top no more. I think bigger market caps, better cryptos are going to happen pretty soon. Looking at Twitter from Symmetry7, I can't help but laugh. If you want to become rich, you can buy XDC right away for no reason. If you buy $1,000 at an affordable price, your life will change. Yes, once again, anything will do. I get a lot of questions of people asking me on how much XDC should I hold. It all depends on your financial situation. But anything above $10,000 is more than enough, right? Because when the time comes, no XDC is enough, right? So... The best thing you can do is put a bit of money on the side every day, every week. And when we hit the dips like we did just now for XDC, then buy a bit at a time. Do not ever just throw loads of money in one go. DCAing in every single month, every single week, I think, is the ideal option. And as we see here, R3 quarter, XDC network bridge, XDC being used as a settlement token, all the stuff that we cover on this channel about XDC, too much to ignore.